Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So guys, before getting into that, so if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your student WhatsApp groups guys, so that it can spread to maximum number of people and most of them will get benefited, I hope. So this is week two assignment regarding introduction to machine learning course. So guys, I hope almost uh, I have given most probable solutions as per my knowledge and interest so if you feel there should be any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section guys so if, if i get any solutions updated i will inform within the comment section guys so stay tuned to our video before final submission once again check the video guys so this is first question the parameters obtained in linear regression what so what they can do uh, what is the correct option for the continuation of that so for first question, the probable answer is first option itself. The parameters obtained in linear regression can take any value in the real space. So mark first option. Now let's move on to the second question guys. Guys do watch full video without skipping. If you skip the video, you may miss some content. So do watch full video guys. So for second question, they have given there are n independent variables x1 to xn and their dependent variable is y so when we apply linear regression by fitting the best fit line using least squared error on this data so you found that the correlation coefficient for one of its variable suppose if, if you say x1 with y is minus 0 0.005 so what will be the probable solution now so for second question i have got the probable solution as third option guys the given data is insufficient to determine if regressing y on x1 explains away why or not so i think third option could be the probable one now let's move on to the third question so third one which of the following is a limitation of subset selection methods in regression so for third question i think the probable solution is first option itself they tend to produce biased estimates of the regression coefficients now let's move on to the fourth one, fourth question. Fourth one, the relation uh, between study time in hours and grade on the final exam 0 to 100 in a random sample of students in introduction to machine learning class in the, was found to be grade 30.5 plus 15.2 H. So how will, be, how will a student's grade be affected if she studies for four hours? So for fourth question, I have got the answer as third option. It will go up by 60.8 points. Now let's move on to the fifth question, guys. Fifth one, which of the statements is or true? So for fifth question, I have got two probable solutions, guys. The first option, reach has positive constraint and it will drive coefficients with low values to zero. And the second one, lasso has a closed form solution for the optimization problem but this is not the case for rich so i think these two solutions could be the probable solutions for fifth question so now let's move on to the sixth question guys so before getting into this sixth question i want to make a small announcement guys so this is regarding uh NPTEL exam preparation MCQs. So we have collected previous year questions, assignment questions, guys. So with nearly five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected this uh, MCQs, guys. So we are we have also prepared for mission learning course. So here you will get 600 MCQs, guys. For no other subject, we are providing these many MCQs. So here you will get 600 MCQs for just 500 only, guys. And you will get access for up to five members. That means if you divide this 500 by 5, so for each person it will take just 100 rupees only, right? But you have to form groups with your classmates or friends, guys, in order to purchase this. Or if you can, only one person can bear that, you can do that. So only 500 pack is available, guys, combinedly, no individual price. So you have to form a group so you can share the money to buy this pack if needed. And the validity is till the exam day, guys. Even if the exam day is postponed, will uh, give the validity till that exam day guys no problem in that so by now itself you so that you will get maximum number of uh, maximum amount of time to practice guys 
and search option is also available so you can travel to any question with the uh, with the keyword you like and also it is easy to revise because uh, it is an mcq pdf so that you can easily scroll the pdf before getting into the exam so if you want to buy this so if you see here so this is the uh, email you have to mail me guys so bk179417 at red gmail.com so this is the email you have to message me if you want to purchase the pdf pack so only message me when you if you want to purchase the pdf pack, pack guys already many people have taken the pdfs so be one of them and be smart guys so here you know where you can get these many mcqs in in no youtube channel is providing this only our channel is doing that guys so this is the email id you have to mail me so re please remember guys only if you want to purchase then only message me guys for any other doubts please message me in the youtube comment section itself so that's it guys so now let's get back to the solutions but do remember this guys very very important you are getting 600 mcqs now let's get back to the solutions guys so sixth one find the mean of the squared error for the given uh, predictions so for sixth question i have got the probable solution as one guys first option answer is one next moving on to the seventh question now so they have given two statements statement a and statement b so for seventh question the probable answer is third option statement a is false and statement b is true now let's move on to the eighth question guys eighth one the linear regression model so they have given an equation so here they are asking if the so some squared error so here the vector of parameter values they have given so the main question is i hope if the sum squared error is minimized for obtaining the optimal regression model which of the following equation holds so for eighth question the probable answer is fourth option guys x power i mean x power t into x power theta is equals x power t to y so i think this could be the probable solution guys now let's move on to the ninth question so ninth one which of the following statements is true regarding partial least squares regression so for ninth question i have got the answer as third option pls can handle situations where the number of predictors is larger than the number of observations so mark third option as correct answer for ninth question now let's move on to the final question of this assignment that is 10th one so before getting into this guys i want want to once again make you remember that we are providing nearly 600 mcqs guys previous year assignment question mcqs for machine learning course exclusively with nearly 5 years of experience in nptel so we have collected 600 mcqs for we will giving for 500 only guys so it will you will get access for up to 5 members so there is a google drive link so you will get access till the exam day guys no hurry till the exam day if you purchase now itself you will get more time to prepare right guys right and search option is also available and it is also easy to revise so if you want to get these mcqs so if you want to purchase these mcqs message to me to this email guys so only if you want to purchase then only message me guys so for other doubts please give your uh, comments in the comment section of the youtube video itself no need to message me only if you want to buy this pack you, you have to mail me guys already many people have taken this pack that's why i am recommending you this so now let's get back to the final solution of this assignment 2 so 10th one which of the following statements about principal components in principal component regression pcr is true so for 10th question the probable answer is third option principal components are linear combinations of the original predictors that are uncorrelated with each other so friends these are the solutions for week 2 assignment hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with your friends guys